Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Apologize for the delay in getting this video out. I know it's been a week or two and uh, just been super busy with my work, um, new project. And uh, it was my birthday the other day, um, almost 40 now, not uh, happy about that. But um, anyway, it's just been really busy, so apologize for that. Um, I know I try to get a video out at least every week, so I need to uh, get back into a routine, hopefully, um, after, this, after this week. Um, anyways, in this video, I wanted to um, kind of talk about uh, Bitcoin price correlation and how it correlates to the other uh, altcoins and the rest of the market, as well as um, uh, go over some... Uh, maybe some news recently as well as, uh, you know, uh, the Bitcoin giveaway too from the last video. So I wanted to start with uh, this article here of Goldman Sachs making a first hire in the cryptocurrency markets unit. Um, this was from uh, three, four days ago, actually. Um, today's actually what the 27th so this was published on the 23rd but anyways um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with Goldman Sachs you know they're a huge uh, financial and investment uh, firm and obviously they've been avoiding cryptocurrency and Bitcoin forever now and you know they've been downplaying it and talking bad about it so um, just recently you know and for them to to come out and say you know that they're actually taking crypto seriously now and they're actually uh, creating this new crypto market unit and they created a, a or they hired their first uh, employee for this market unit just speaks volumes of uh, you know where crypto is going to go so I thought that was really cool news um, you know these uh, big banks are now and investment firms are getting into crypto so I think the the sky is really the limit uh, to see what's going to go what's what's going to happen here um, Anyways, this is from CNBC. Um, you can take a look at this article, but it's basically just short and sweet how it, how it says they're getting involved in the crypto space and how they just started this new division. Um, what I really wanted to show you guys is this pretty cool price correlation chart. So I know th there's a big question of, you know, does Bitcoin price correlate to the price of the other altcoins um, in the... Um, you know the the crypto market in general so in other words if Bitcoin if the price of Bitcoin goes down um, do the other altcoins go down with it um, and do kind of the other altcoins follow the price of Bitcoin Bitcoin goes up the rest of the market and the, and the alt, you know the other altcoins go up with it you know if it goes down they go down with it and they kind of follow it so this chart is pretty cool it's actually interactive too it's a uh, Cointrading.ninja, um, and they have some other tools uh, here too. But anyways, it shows you the correlation. So one being a perfect correlation, and then I guess anything in green here just shows you that it's a pretty close correlation. So you can see, as an example, you know BTC obviously is Bitcoin has a 0.91 correlation to Dash. You know that's almost a perfect. You know, one being perfect, uh, one to one correlation, 0.91 correlation to Dash, 0.89 to Ether, 0.86 to Litecoin. Um, and you can just see, you know, then obviously at the end here is Ripple, um, 0.82. So all of these are green and it's pretty interactive too. So you can change, you know, last seven days, last 12 months. So if I go, you know, last three months and then I can add, you can add additional currencies here too. Um, so if I go and add, uh, let's see, let's add, um, let's add let me see go. Um, and you can see, you know, Bitcoin has a 0.84 correlation. So you can see, I mean, you can just keep adding. Unfortunately, it only shows you, you know, what, what, like eight or 10. Um, off the bat and then you can go and select more and keep adding more um, but you can see that it has Bitcoin has a pretty close correlation to at least all these major uh, coins here um, this charts pretty cool um, I would definitely recommend checking out and it tells you here you know if it's green if the block is green here near one it means that there's a positive correlation 
um, of the currencies. Um, if it's white, there's no correlation pattern visible. And if it's a red, there's a negative correlation. But you can see here, there's no white or red at all. It's, it's basically all green uh, with a little, uh, you know, lighter shades of green here but you know it's still still green showing you know a positive correlation between the currencies so um so if you're if you're trading um uh you can expect you know if you're just watching bitcoin you can kind of base your base the market and base the other coins kind of off the price of bitcoin at least for now um and, and again this was the last three months um i definitely noticed it this year too not so much maybe last year um, but this year, 2018, it seems like a lot of the coins have been correlating pretty close to the Bitcoin price. So again, this site is, um, I'm not affiliated, you know, at all with this site. I just uh, found it and I've just been using it uh, myself. So it's coin, uh, cointrading.ninja um, and then forward slash cor correlation. Um, and they have some other tools that you can use up here too. But it's pretty cool. Um, and another uh, chart I found too, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it, it's basically the same concept. So you have Bitcoin here at the top, um, and then you have a lot of the other altcoins here. And a perfect correlation with this chart is solid red. And a negative correlation would be blue. So you can see this chart is pretty close to being solid red. Obviously, there's lighter shades of red, but for the most part, it's pretty red, which shows you a a pretty close correlation from, uh, or, or should I say, to uh, Bitcoin. So all these other coins here correlate to uh, to Bitcoin pretty closely. Um, pretty cool. Um, pretty cool stuff. Um, I wanted to show you guys this too. Um, this is a blog post from his name's uh, Ken, uh, Ken Shida. Um, learn data science. It's uh, it's off a of medium, um, but anyways, he did like an analysis of the Bitcoin price and uh, Google Trends. So as Google Trends, uh, I guess spiked. Um, so Google Trends is basically it follows like search terms. So when people were searching on Bitcoin or like when when the Google chatter was Bitcoin, obviously it was spiking here. And you can see there was a really close correlation um, with the Bitcoin price to the Google Trend data. So he did a really cool write up. You know, can we predict Bitcoin price with Google Trend? Um, it's a really long article and he did like a really, really deep analysis. Um, with this too. Um, I'll, I'll leave this link down in the video description if you guys wanted to check it out. Um, it's pretty, pretty cool stuff. I mean, like I said, I mean, it's a really, really close correlation um, between those people that are searching on the term Bitcoin and uh, the price of, of Bitcoin itself. And you can check that out too if you go to um, just trends.google.com and just type in Bitcoin. Um, so if I I'll just go to the, the home page here. So Google Trends. So it's trends.google.com. And then you can just come up here and just like type in uh, Bitcoin. And you can see the trend chart. And look at, I mean, if you guys remember back in December when the price, you know, hit, you know, 20K, I mean, that's a pretty close price correlation with the uh, Google Trend data and the price of Bitcoin. So here back in December when Bitcoin hit about 20,000 and then obviously, you know, then there was the big crash, you know, uh, in January and then here we are here in April. So kind of, you know, stabilized, so to speak. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I don't know if there's an exact, you know, one to one correlation of of interest with Bitcoin price, but just by looking at this chart, it, you can clearly see that there's a pretty close um, correlation with it. So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, this video would be pretty short. I, I just wanted to show you guys kind of quickly where I'm at too with uh, the Crypto Hopper bot. So in the last video, I kind of went through all the settings um, where I'm at. Not, nothing too much has changed from there. Obviously, you know, I, I'm, I'm in the bot every day. Um, I'm changing the the uh, profit percentages, changing the you know the the setups and the configurations and whatnot with it, and you know daily uh, 
you know, maintaining it daily, right? So it, it's not one to just set it and forget it, unfortunately. Um, and I'll, I'm also, you know, uh, you know, playing with the triggers and, you know, turning the buying off and, and that sort of thing. So you can see I'm still, even, even after that big, uh, dive. So Bitcoin, di uh, took a dive of $800, um, what, two days ago. And it's hovering around, where is that? Where's it at right now? 90. 91, uh, 9,172. So you can see this was the past seven days. So, you know, it spiked, then it dropped, then it came up a little bit. So to be able to maintain, you know, around an 18% gain with that huge drop, um, and, you know, 19% on returns is, is pretty good. I have four open positions, not too bad. Um, the longest one being five days. These should sell off hopefully in the next day or two. Um, I tend to keep, like this, I'll, I'll, I'll probably keep for seven days. Um, if, you know, if I, if this hits seven days, I might just sell it for a loss, um, depending on the market. Or if I see if, if the market's picking up, I'll just hold on to it. That's kind of been what I've been doing uh, with, with the bot itself. So anyways, I just want to make a quick video. Let's do the uh, the winner of the 50 US dollars of Bitcoin. So let's do this random comment picker from the last video. Let's run this thing. There's 260 comments and uh, let's see where did he go there we go all right so crypto sempia says congratulations i've learned so much from your channel appreciate it thank you very much um Really appreciate the kind words that you guys uh, leave me in the comments. Keeps me going. You can see I'm pretty tired right now making this video. I had a long week. Um, you know, obviously I have a day job, you know, working in the tech industry. So uh, for me making these videos is, um, you know, it's a lot of work outside of a day job. So really appreciate the kudos. Anyways, here is his Bitcoin address. Hopefully I get this right. So I'm going to copy it. And we'll send him his fifty dollars of Bitcoin. This is uh, I'm just going to use my Jack's wallet. It's super easy to use for the, for those of you guys that aren't familiar with this wallet. It's it's really cool. It's called Jacks J A X X, and this is the their uh, Chrome browser plugin. So they have a Windows uh, version, a Mac version and a smartphone so android and ios as well as this uh, chrome browser plugin and, and they all sync together too which is super cool um i have a bunch of wallets um that i use but i love having this just in my chrome browser um, as a plugin it's just you know for something like this it's super quick to use so i don't have uh i have what 600 bucks on here so it's not not that much all right so we'll paste his address in here We'll send him his fifty dollars. All right, let's verify it. Thirteen fifty U.S. dollars and send. Send confirmation. Fifty U.S. dollars. Double check that address again. Um, there's a slight mining fee. Uh, that's not too bad though. And confirm. All right, I'm going to pause the video as I type this in, guys. All right, so his Bitcoin has been sent. Here we go. Unconfirmed, April 27th, um, 0 0.00544 BTC. Sent to this address. So there we go. All right, guys, um, real quick video this time. Um, I, well, quick for me, because I tend to make half hour, 40 long or 40 minute long videos. Um, but I uh, appreciate you guys tuning into the channel. Um, so, sorry for the uh, delay and uh, sorry for my low energy. I'm super tired uh, um, tonight. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again.